Okay guys, welcome back to Phenomenal Gaming and today we have episode 1 of the Rugby League Live 4 Coach Career Mode. Now we're just going to go through the settings match difficulty we want on Pro because Rook is too easy, Amateur it can be too easy, Pro just about right, Vet and Legend too hard. We want it on Pounds, we want Realistic, Realistic, 5 minutes, 3 minutes. coach now as I say I've given this a lot of thought I've said this in previous videos I couldn't decide whether to do a Toronto career mode or a Castleford one but something that I've noticed for the Toronto one I will be doing a player career don't know when that starts it will be over the coming weeks but you can also play as a team on that one so I may do that in a couple of them matches so what we're going to do we're going to do a Castleford coach career now I've got some custom kits downloaded for uh, certain teams like um, Fiji, France etc. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go for a team like that as opposed to one of the bigger teams. I think I'll go Papua New Guinea. I do actually like that kit. I think that's a really good kit. We're not going to take any affiliation with State of Origin unless I decide to do a NRL career mode win the premiership make the finals sign a star play no i think uh, we safe for going for the finals there uh, five star attracting players no, i think we'll go for matchmaking rock matchmaking okay so let's have a look at the numbers all's fair all is fair uh, yeah i'm happy with the numbers there And we're not going to be doing 14-0 um, we beat Catalan in pre-season. We're not going to be doing pre-season uh, because I, just, I don't, when you're playing a game, I just don't see the point in it. How do we do against Lee? We win 12-0 and funnily enough, that's the first game of the season against Lee Centurions, the Super League new boys. Lee joined us top of the table after winning 6-0 against St. Helens. And we're going to get straight into this match. Okay guys, we are in the stadium, we are in the Mendehoz jungle for the first game of the Super League campaign. It's Castleford versus Super League new boys, Lee Centurions. And let's see how the Centurions fare against a veteran Super League side. Now taken there by Mortimer, huge hit by a created player actually, got to try and get rid of that. But then the interception, now it's Junior Moore's going for the line. But yeah. First game of the season, looking to get the win. Almost across, actually, there. Need to make that interchange. Need to get the created player off the field. Don't know why he's actually there. Junior Moores stops five out from the Lee line. Now, Massey to Minikin. Minikin with the step, but he's stopped one metre from the line. Millington, Millington is over the line and Grant Millington scores the first try of the game and the first try of this career mode series and he puts Castleford four points ahead. A great step there Getting around the lead defender, putting the ball down just at the side of the post. Now Luke Gale looking to get his first successful conversion of the season and he succeeds in doing so. 6-0 we lead in the first game of the season. Let's move on. We've got a Lee Centurion scrum just inside their own half and a huge hit there from Ben Roberts on McNally now. Veya. Veya is stopped just inside the well just inside the Tigers half but he wasn't because he offloaded that to Weston who was then stopped just short of the 40. And now great little step offload and he's almost through, but he's stopped there, Glenn Stewart. Now with the Centurions, another big hit this time from Jake Webster. Mortimer, Stewart. Western, and they're going to be in, are they? No, there's a grubber kick, and it's picked up by Luke Gale, who makes a few metres there, but that's a high tackle, and we do get the penalty. Actually, it was a really good start to this match compared to how started other career modes. 
This is definitely on pro, by the way. I didn't change it at all. I mean, a master amateur. Master rookie. I mean, anyone could master rookie. But there's quick hands. Not really getting anywhere. And Eden is tackled on the 40. Now Millington gets it across to Junior Moores, who sends it across now, and then Michael Shenton is stopped. The quick hand's not really working for us early in this match. Webster, now it's Lynch, sends it to Millington, and he's stopped just short of the halfway line. Gale now, with a step, gets around the defender with another step. Gets to 25 metres from the Centurions line. And that is half time. Straight into the second half we go. Lee have the ball. Find a gap in the defence. And there's a huge hit from Zach Hardacre. And Jake Webster picks up the knock on. Now it's Andy Lynch at dummy half. With the pass to Massey. Millington is. He's absolutely battered and he's knocked it on there. And now the Lee Centurions with the ball on the zero tackle. And there's a knock on again. As we look to come away with it, 54 minutes into the game. Can something come from this set? Passing the ball well again though, the quick hand's not really working, nothing actually came there. And another knock-on from the Lee Centurions. The completion rate was absolutely horrific. But honestly, the big hits on this game are absolutely... They were meant to just... You know, you hit nine times out of ten, someone's going to knock it on from a big hit. Now, 20 out from the Lee line. McMeekin stopped. Lynch gets it to Minikin. Minikin with a step and he's in for the try. And Greg Minikin gets his first try of the campaign and the career mode series. And he puts us 10 points ahead now. There's, I believe, around 15 minutes game time remaining. He dives a little bit too early, but the momentum took him over. And Luke Gale now to try and convert his second kick of the game, keep his 100% record for the season. And he does so, makes it 12 nil to Cass. Lee, the Super League new boy, is not really doing much at the moment. Now, switching the play. Here's Greg Eden, steps on the inside, but he's tackled there. Don't know who by, but he was stopped 30 metres out on the fifth tackle now. Luke Gale with the up and under. It's caught. By James Clare. James Clare gets around Hardacre. James Clare has no one in front of him. And James Clare at the 20, at the 10, is going to go over for the first try of Lee Centurion's Super League return. James Clare with an immense effort there around. 80 metres run there for the winger. Former cast winger, I might add. I used to rave a lot about James Clare. He almost cost us a match a few years ago, but then scored a couple of tries and got us a draw. Redeemed himself in that match, and he may have just helped Lee. There's not long left on the clock, but there's still hope, and there's a big hit squandering any chances, and that is full-time in a 12-6 victory on the first game of the season. Okay, guys, so following the first game of the season and that 12-6 win... We sit pretty at the top of the table for now. And although we did just win 12-6, we face some greater competition next in, in Warrington Wolves. Um, the table has changed very slightly. We have Huddersfield at the top and Wakefield in second, with us in third and Lees in fourth. That's a different league. But yeah. So next up. Right, okay, we're second. Why, why is he there? I need to really get rid of that player. Um, 
the only reason I left fan up changes on were for like custom kits and stuff. And now I keep getting a notification saying Wi Fi connection loss and it's really, really annoying. So, yeah, we've got our team sorted, guys. Let's get into the match. Okay, guys, so we are here at the Halliwell Jones Stadium, the home of the wire the warrington wolves for our second game of the super league campaign and the super league career mode now warrington have it on the front foot but there is a knock on and away goes michael shenton but he is stopped just on the 40. now straight into the action here luke gale smashed there but he stopped from getting back to his feet after the tackler hesitated now millington roberts mcmeekin McMeekin is stopped 25 out. For some reason I feel like I'm commentating a horse race, but here we go. Ben Roberts stopped 20 from the wire line. By the way, if you're not familiar, wire is the nickname of Warrington Wolves. Uh, you'll probably know that now. That's a stupid statement. But here we go. Paul McShane at dummy half. What is he going to do with the ball? Sends it out to Junior Moores. Sends it back for Ben Roberts on the fifth tackle, 15 from the what the Warrington line. Now Luke Gale with the up and under, tapped back by Shenton, picked up by Webster, and another kick across the field from the centre. And it's caught there by Ryan Atkins, who's gone, but he's stopped by Zach Ardaker. And honestly, compared to Rugby League Live 3, this game is phenomenal to play. It's, it's actually really fun. It's not boring. And we are tackled in our in-goal area there. Zach Ardaker catching the ball just outside, just uh, just across from his try line. Luke Gale with the uh, drop out. But this game is so much fun to play compared to the last game. It's not easy. And away goes Ben Curry. And Ben Curry is stopped three, four metres out from the cast line. Holding on for dear life. And there's a high tackle. No need whatsoever. And Kirk Gidley looks to kick the two points. Take the lead. A narrow lead it would be for the Warrington Wolves. In front of their home crowd. Now Warrington with the interception from the wayward pass. I say wayward, it would have gone straight to the player, but it's intercepted nonetheless. And now Warrington Wolves looking to take an even bigger lead now, two metres from the line. And it's a great interception from Zach Ardaker. And away it go the Tigers, but stopped just short of the, well, just past the 30, my apologies. Now Luke Gale with the little shimmy. And he's going to be stopped there for half time. Coincidentally, just past the halfway line. And now, stop there with the knock on. Need to actually finish my sentences. And now, as we come away with the ball, a big hit there. Something that gets me about this game is like the eight tackle sets. So, obviously, you get the seven tackle set from a tap. Which is, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a 6 tackle. But this occasionally you'll have 7 tackles and uh, uh, 8 tackles, and here is Ben Roberts getting injured. Gadwin Springer on to replace him. And I'm talking like in the middle of the game about something that's not really a massive deal, but it is quite frustrating where you'll knock it on and the opposing team will get 8 tackles or you'll get 8 tackles, etc. But me can stop there 12 out. Just so I get that little bugbear out of the way. Now, here we go. It's, it's Minikin who sends it to Eden and Eden scores. Greg Eden with his first try of the campaign. Greg Minikin could have gone himself, but he wanted to send it across to Greg Eden, the current Super League try, uh, lead try scorer with, I think it's 35, 36 tries in the league. Injured actually at the moment, but looking to be back in the next three weeks for the end of the Super 8s. It's a poor kick from Luke Gale, but that gives the Tigers a lead on the 72nd minute. And I've spoken 
really fast and if you can't understand me I do apologize now here we go and we are looking oh, there's a knock on and away goes Kurt Gidley Kurt Gidley to win it for the Wolves but he is stopped nine meters from the cast line and now looking to get something of this but he is stopped there is Cooper and that is full time another victory two from two only 4-2, a narrow victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, guys, so that's two wins from two matches, which is highly surprising in my opinion. And as you look there, Ben Roberts has been injured for 83 days. It's almost three months without our second playmaker and one of our star players. However, you look at this, we are third in the table and you look at Leeds actually with uh, the highest points difference now I'm just going to point out this is completely different to rugby league like three where the points difference would be something like four points at this stage e yeah even at this stage I mean you see this one here for Warrington the two points point difference positive you know it's average it's not a big deal don't know why I'm talking about it but yeah so two wins from two we defeated the Lee Centurions 12-6 and the Warrington Wolves 4-2 next up in the next episode we have Castleford versus Leeds and Widnes versus Castleford both fixtures that we did win in real life but yeah have a look at some of the statistics Greg Eden getting his first try of the season in the previous game but yeah gonna set out the team for the next match everything's gonna stay the same however Ben Roberts is gonna have to change to yeah, so we're going a little bit too far down there Matt Cook I'm going to give a try in place of Ben Roberts and we'll see how Matt Cook can go so for this match playmaker 2 is going to be Zach Hardacre but yeah we'll be getting into Leeds versus Castleford in the next episode guys if you did enjoy it don't forget to like comment subscribe for more and I'll see you later, guys.